So, we've just been watching their speeches delivered last night by President Moon Jae-in and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at their dinner banquet in Pyongyang. It looked very uh, uh, good-natured and everyone was in high spirits, very kind words for each other, which is always good to see. Uh, we are approaching 9 a.m. Korea time and that means we are expecting a statement, a summit status update from President Moon Jae-in's senior presidential secretary for communication. So we'll be crossing over to the Dong Dae Moon uh, Design Plaza, which is the media center for this third inter-Korean summit of the year. Before we cross over there uh, to hear from the secretary, uh, Professor Song, you were uh, making a few notes during those speeches there. Mm -hmm. Did anything uh, jump out at you within those speeches? Well, the, the leaders were saying all the right things uh, with uh, good, good wills and hopeful signs. Uh, that was uh, very good to see. But in the back of my mind, you, you have to always temper with the, the fact that whatever they plan to do, uh, especially economically, the sanctions is in the way. And that goes to the, the fact that the U.S. talk is, at this point, very much more important because that will unlock all the opportunities that they're seeking. But at this point, there's an uphill battle. I think that the, the Professor Ku has rightly pointed out that the skepticism is pretty prevalent uh, in, in the public, in the, in the U.S., but in the, more importantly, in the intelligence sector. They, they have, uh, there were some reports that the North Korea is, is still continuing their uh, program, albeit very quietly. And uh, it's, it's a lot like uh, what the Pakistan has done before and India has done before and Israel. So uh, I think that the, the North Korea, if they walk away from this, they do have alternative. They have trading partners in, in potentially China and Russia, and uh, they could uh, seek to establish themselves quietly as a nuclear power, just like uh, Pakistan and other countries. That's a bad route at this point. Mm. It's a painful route. I don't think uh, the Kim Jong-un wants to take it if he can help it, but uh, when it comes to, you know, uh, push but comes to shove, then th there is that route. So in order to uh, avoid that, I think the media role that President Moon uh, will play is much more important because, you know, uh, convincing the Kim Jong-un is one thing, convincing Trump is another, and convincing the skeptics in the U.S. and the world uh, stage, uh, that's another. And that's all incumbent upon what happens today at 